After sifting through more than 350 entries and spending dozens of hours building an entirely fictional roster filled with your players, we are now ready to start Dot League Baseball. But first, I gotta start this video off with a bang. I promised in the last video I would announce which team I'm going to play as for this series, and well, after long debate, I've finally made a decision. The answer? None of them. Let me explain. Now, as I was going through and looking at all the teams and every one of your players that you guys submitted, I was the most excited I've been for franchise in a long time, and I couldn't wait to get started. Now, the problem was I wanted to play as every team and try out every single player. So choosing just one feels really limiting. So let me put this a different way. I'm choosing to play as every team, and here's how it's going to work. Each week of the season, we're going to play one marquee matchup and simulate all the other games as we progress throughout the season. Each episode, I will play as a different team with a different matchup. I'll be choosing a matchup that features like a key moment or real good competition, marquee starters, you know, a really good storyline for the season thus far. But that's not all. I want you guys to help decide too. After each episode, comment with the matchup you want me to play in the next episode. I'll tally all the results and play the matchup with the most votes next. Lastly, remember how I could control every team in the league? Well, the CPU is going to do most of the managerial duties, but if your player is unhappy or has some things to say about your team and teammates, use the comment section like your own personal Twitter feed for your player. I'll cut out some of the trash talk, issues, and other comments you have to voice as your player and put them in the video like this, that, even this. If you demand a trade and won't take the field until you're traded, I'll make those changes in the game and we'll see what happens. I think that'll make this really fun, allow you guys to have some fun with your players, stay connected to the stories in this league. There's plenty more ideas I have on how to make this an amazing series that I want to roll out over time, but I'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys as well too, so just let me know. Oh, and one last thing, if you don't have a player in the league right now, don't worry about it. There will be other opportunities for you to submit a player, like the first year player draft. Okay, that about wraps up all the little details, but but now let's go meet the teams. Starting from the worst ranked all the way to the best ranked team coming in at number 30, Kansas City Royals. Obviously the Royals don't have a lot of standout players led with third baseman, 84 overall, Jivy World, 79 contact versus righty, 83 contact versus lefty. Carter Rumfro, surprise though, got big power, but not too much contact. Brady Archer at first base. Let's see how this team does. Coming up at number 29, the Arizona Diamondbacks. A lot of good players, a lot of good tools, led by shortstop Jason King. Good all-around player. Got a couple different guys here in the 80s. Braxton Audrain, Ronald Ruffin, standout player here. Young player from the Dominican Republic. Dawson Messick, Kenny Beardman, and Teddy Curtin. At number 28, the Cleveland Indians, led by the man, 98 overall, it's fuzzy with that A potential. David Zay, 84 overall catcher, Marlon Ensley, another big bat, BD Ryan, Big Daddy Ryan, and Ben Nelson here at the top of the order. At number 27, the Chicago Cubs, led by the big man himself, King Healy, 92 contact versus righty and lefty, got Noah Brooks and Matthew Fontaine, who actually stayed to the end of the video. On the first video, he gets a very nice boost. 85 overall, 19 year old with A potential, going to be a clear star for the Cubs. At number 26, the Atlanta Braves, led by Lawson Metka, Mike Wilson at 88 overall with a 91 power versus righty, 82 power versus lefty. Not a lot of good players outside of that. At number 25, the St. Louis Cardinals with yours truly on the roster. A potential, nice little contact, good speed, but the big bat, Connor Herod. Look at that. 84 contact versus righty, 86 contact versus lefty, 80 power and 88 power versus lefty, a potential 90 overall already. Outside of that, Kyle Priggy and Shane Carter round out the standouts on the roster. At number 24, the Los Angeles Dodgers, Brandon Rita, 92 overall, great contact, also can play third, but starting at second, 
Quinn Shiflet and Eric Dub up top as well too, but that's all really this team has to speak for, but has young talent and Oliver Lozada, 19 year old, a potential at catcher. At number 23, the Baltimore Orioles stand out Michael Cunningham and Ben Krentler as the best two players on the team. Not so much good players outside of that, but do have Chris Mills at catcher with a potential who will continue to get better. At number 22, the Detroit Tigers. Paul Spore, 82 overall shortstop, leading the pack. Great hitter, a potential. Noah St. Patrick, also a great hitter at first. Michael McClellan, Jacob Johnson, Joe Grisardo, really good hitting squad right here. Some great players on this team. At number 21, the San Diego Padres, some really good players on this team, led by Alex Van Dierendonk. Look at that, with that great contact and decent power. JJ Slama here, 84 overall. Ozzy Ochoa in center field. Great contact, good speed, good fielding. Then Elliot Ryan at catcher. At number 20, the Chicago White Sox. A lot of good players here. Jake Selesky in center, all-around player. Trey Smith at short, great speed and pretty good power, but not as good contact. Levi Ronan, look at that. 95 power versus righty, 93 power versus lefty. And Brian Loveless, a good contact hitter. This is a good all-around good contact squad here. Coming in at 19, the Washington Nationals, Cooperstown Kurt leads the charge 89 overall with some great contact and great power outside of that. Hunter Power himself, Tyler Wyatt, and Brian Ridgely are the best players on this squad. Coming at 18, the Cincinnati Reds, Isaiah Dickerson leading off 84 overall, but Zachary Chin and Hunter Hicks, the both 90 overall players with B potential and A potential Hunter Hicks will be a future star. Current star will continue to be a star here in the future. At number 17, the Los Angeles Angels. Look at this beauty of a squad. We've got Drake Powers at 92 overall. Great against righties, terrible against lefties. Tyke Rout, great power, fourth batter, and plain center. We've got DJ Olmedo, who's an A potential young prospect. Tyler Farron, tie guy, great contact hitting, good all around player. And then, of course, the Smoogler. Tim Coogs, a.k.a. Smoogs, playing third base, 83 overall, A potential as well. A lot of very good players on this team. Coming at 16, the Seattle Mariners, Griffin Taylor, great all-around hitter, 93 overall center fielder, Ian Davis and Chase Font are the other two best players on this team. Some great power from both Davis and Font. Coming in at number 15, the Pittsburgh Pirates, Lamont Harper, 96 overall, great contact and power versus righties pretty decent still against lefties outside of that a lot of good players in jordan berg talon lytic matt king greg cornell at 88 overall blake Hahn and nathan mccomb good as well Coming in at number 14, the New York Mets. Scuffy McGee lead off, 81 overall, but the story is Patrick Kramer, 89 overall, the best player on the team, all around great hitter and good speed, just cannot play and throw very well. Outside of that, Philip Brennan and Kay Pritz, both in the low 80s along with Scuffy McGee, an incredible outfield here in New York. Coming in at number 13, the Houston Astros lead off Dakota Lover, Look at that great speed and decent contact. King Basie, 84 contact versus righty, 88 contact versus lefty, 92 and 95 power versus right and left. The dude can swing hitting at DH. And we got Justin Adams, also very good power hitter, great vision. And Alex Williams and Michael Amos at third, making this one of the best teams here in the Dot League Baseball. Coming at number 12, the Miami Marlins, Bengal Designs leading off here. Great speed, incredible contact, very poor power, still a very good player, but the story is Ressi Garcia, 92 overall with 99 power versus righty, 95 power versus lefty. The dude can swing. Fourth, Ethan Groening, good all-around player right here, 97 power versus righty. Evan Uslan and DJ Del Vecchio, both really solid players, as well as Evan Stotts and Colin Foyle, the Marlins. This, they show why they're the 12th best team here in the DLB. 
At number 11, the Minnesota Twins, Trey Risegraff, 86 overall. Jack Olsen, 87 overall with some decent hitting. But Alex Riddle leads the squad, 97 power versus righty, 84 versus lefty. Real beast. This Minnesota team will be tough to beat. Coming at number 10, the New York Yankees. Jacob King, right fielder, 94 overall. Great contact, a potential. Oscar Animal, TJ Whitman, and Will Torchette all above the 80s, along with Alan Montgomery. A very good all-around great hitting team, this New York Yankees. Coming in at number nine, the Oakland Athletics, led by 87 overall, Ben Holgate. We've got George Cisneros at 81 overall, Ben Carr at 84, and Tanner Belfance at 81. The A's will be a good, solid team. Coming in at number eight, the Toronto Blue Jays, led by Brett Barrett, 99 overall, Kevin God at 93 overall. And then we've got Connor Pearson Ward, Luke Mulligan, Brandon Roberts, Leo Manier, Matt Nessink, all with ratings above 80. This is going to be one of the best hitting teams in this league. Coming at number seven, the Colorado Rockies led by Mighty Goat, 98 overall with 99 power versus righty, 99 power versus lefty, and really good contact as well. But he's not the only good person on this team. Zachary, Satram, and CJ Myers at 90 and 89 overall. And then Adam Young and Randy Boudreaux keeping it up alongside Tommy Clemente. Coming at number six, the Boston Red Sox, Buki Johnson, 95 overall, sitting around the Bishop brothers, Caden Bishop, Cedric Bishop here at 89 and 84. But there's a lot of good players on this as well, too. Johnny Madej, Brendan McDonald, Todd Levinson, Justin Olette. This team is stacked. Coming at number five, the San Francisco Giants, led by Rocky Coleman, 95 overall, just with Peyton Carter, Austin Oda, Adrian Williams. Nice little team here with Joy Lane. 89 overall catcher. Coming at number four, the Texas Rangers led by Garrett Coughlin at 95 overall and a potential. One of the best players in the league here with Hack Wilson, Hayden Hurd, and Bobby Green, as well as Christian Klump batting lead off and playing short. At number three, the Philadelphia Phillies, led by Shane Kessler, who's 95 overall with a potential, one of the best players in this league. We got Liberty Fox, 90 overall, and Liam McCullough at 86. Don't sleep on Tio Berg and Zach Romize as well on this team. Coming in at number two, the Tampa Bay Rays, led by Fro Banks. 87 overall with hitting all across the board, 91 power versus righty, 95 power versus lefty, and A potential. But the story, Treshawn Rux. Treshawn stayed through the entire video, the last video, so he gets a nice big boost. 88 overall, great power, A potential, young player, going to be an unstoppable player in this league on this Rays team. And last but not least, number one, the Milwaukee Brewers, led by Atron Gaming, 83 overall. 99 speed brandon johnson 96 overall and i bacon 90 overall rob fritz eric spaulding professor winker don't sleep on those guys as well this brewers team is going to be really really tough all right guys i just want to say shout out to dj elmedo and buki nick buki for helping me create this roster we put a lot of time into this to basically make all of this i can't wait to get this thing started so for the next episode, we're going to do the season opener. So let me know down in the comments what matchup you want to see in the very first episode here for Dot League Baseball. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until the next one, we'll see you guys. Peace. Give me a-